Hello friends, today our agenda is to learn layout in MVC3 Razor. So what is layout? A layout helps to maintain consistent look and feel across multiple views within the application. Layouts serve the same purpose as master pages in web forms. Layouts offer simple syntax and flexibility. And layout contains one or more placeholders that the other view provide content for. Now basically, you must have gone through master pages in web forms. Now in web forms or in the normal or the classic ASP.NET, the web master pages are used to provide the consistent look to the application. Layouts serves the same purpose in MVC3 Tracer. It has simple syntax and flexibility and uh, layout contains one or more placeholders. You can create a layout, you can have multiple placeholders for which the content will be provided by the view which is using that layout and so layout serves uh, the same purpose as master page and let's see through the application how we can use layout and how layouts help in providing the same look and feel throughout the application so we create a new project So we say the layout in MVC3. We create an empty application. So our project is ready to work. Now inside the views shared, you can see a layout.cshtml file being already created. Now if you check this file, inside the body tag there is a render body placeholder. Now this is the syntax to define placeholder and the content for this placeholder will be provided by the view which will use this layout. So let's see how this layout can be used in the view. For that we need to create a view and for that we need to create a controller. So let's create a controller. We name it as home controller. We get a we get an index method which is the default method. So we add a view corresponding to this method and we say we are not using master page for now. First we're gonna see how it looks without master page and we say add. Now if you check there's a layout property at the top of the view which is null currently because we have not checked the checkbox which is used to select the layout so for now that this is why it's null now let's write something this is body Let's run the application and see. So it says this is body. Now, let's give value to this layout property and assign layout to this view. So for that. We pick the path of the layout from view dot view start dot cshtml. So we gave the property layout property the value, which is views shared and layout. We gave the same layout we seen earlier. So now. to check whether the layout is applied or not we write something here we say layout is applied now the content inside the view will be rendered here and this content will be rendered just above the content of the view 
so let's refresh the page and see whether this happens or not yes layout is applied so first this content is rendered and then the content of the view which is calling this layout has been rendered now this is the single placeholder inside the view similarly we can create multiple placeholders and give content for each of them so let's segregate the layout into three parts that is header the body and the footer so let's do it now this render body is is a default placeholder now likewise we can create many sections which act as a placeholder now to create a section we say at render section and we gave it a name so for now we gave it header middle is the body and then we are going to refine the footer section now if we refresh the page it says section not defined header now as discussed earlier the content for this render body method is provided by the view whatever you write, write inside this view will be the content for this render body now in this layout we have created a separate section called header which in turn is a placeholder so inside the view we are not providing any content for this placeholder so that is why it is giving us error that the content is not provided or section is not defined inside the view so how we define section in, in view level so let's see how we define it so we create a div we say it as align it to the center and we say at we use at section property and we say header we use the same key used while defining this section inside that we create another div we are going to see that this is header now let's try and refresh the page similarly now we have given the content for header section now it's asking for content for the footer section so let's do that as well so we go to the view just below the body we say add section footer said that we create a div we say align it to the center and we use
Now we have created content for footer section as well. So let's refresh the page. Now it renders as three different sections that is header, body and footer. Now this way you can segregate your view or a layout or entire layout. So now what if the view doesn't provide content for a particular section now there must be a way to handle this scenario so in that case you can provide or you can use another overlord of render section which accepts a bool value that is true or false and it says if we say false so that means the header section is not mandatory or the header section is optional so what we can do is if we say it's false and from the index that is from the view we can comment this section so now as seen earlier we shall get error if we don't provide data for this section and see what happens when we refresh the page so now this section disappears but it did not give any error to us just because we have provided a false or the second parameter which says it's not mandatory or it's this section is optional similarly there's another property or you can say a method which allow us to define a default value or a default section now suppose like this property is section defined and we give the name of the section Now it, it basically checks if the view is providing content for the footer or not, footer section or not. If it is providing then it will use that content and display it. If it's not providing then you can display the default footer. So let's check if we refresh the page we get this is footer. Now if we comment the footer from the view level the footer section save it and we refresh the page now it says this is default footer so what it did is he checked whether the footer section is defined we have commented the footer section so it is not defined so it went to the else part it has rendered this div saying this is default footer so by this way you can create multiple placeholders multiple sections inside a layout and use them wisely and you can define sections you can make sections optional or mandatory by using the second parameter and you can also check whether the section is been defined inside a view if it's def if it's defined then use that content otherwise use the default content so by this way you can leverage the use of layout to give common consistency or common look to your application and this serves our agenda for today and we have learned how to use layout in mvc3 razor Hope you enjoyed it and liked it. Thank you.